Hi and welcome to our pilot episode of uh, Bringing Education Beyond the Classroom. And right behind me is Shake and Bake. They are the main sponsors for Miss Malaysia Tourism 2022. And right here with me I have is Katie Pillay, none other than him, uh, one of the most prominent MCs in uh, Ipoh Perak in Malaysia, who has done a lot of royal events. And Katie, uh, can you tell me a little bit about this event? Uh, thank you very much, Harry. Uh, you know, actually, other than just being involved in holding the microphone, today I come on a different nature, the love for classic cars. And in conjunction with the Miss Malaysia Tourism 2022, the national final is being held in Ipoh. Therefore, I inform my members from Para Classic Drivers to hop along today. There will be 16 cars here which will be fairing each of the panelists. This is something very incredible because we want the younger generation to learn about cars from the last few generations. This is where they begin to learn about carburetor cars. And today, Harry Segu, on behalf of EdQuest, on behalf of the organizer, on behalf of Check and Bake, we are here, live here. A chance for the girls to sit in a car which is double the age, at least 50 years old average over here. The classic cars, they will take them for a ride in this particular afternoon that is basically on this fantastic day. Thanks, Kitty. And these are the members of all the classic cars. Can all of you say hello, wave and say hello to the camera? Okay, welcome to the event. So, Katie, can you maybe just uh, briefly uh, okay, of tell course, me this about is this a, cars, This know? is an incredible Fiat, okay, this is a X19. Uh, X19, sorry, X19. Uh, X19, this is a fantastic car, this is everybody's dream car. Also a Fiat, but this is a robust one, belongs to CK Wong. And this is a Holden, and uh, this Holden is special, it's very incredible. This is brought to Mr. Ng, and this one, of course, is incredible. It's born the, in my age, in 1962. This is a Austin, okay? Austin FX4, FX2, okay, and then over here will be the Alpha. Wow, do you know that this car now is truly, truly expensive, incredible car to drive? And here is the MG, these are all MG Midget, uh, and I like the plate number AP, which means Anak Pera, and this is the star, the Sunbeam Supreme Alpine, I was told. This is truly incredible, it belongs to Chris, and look at the way it's being designed. Robust, incredible Sunbeam. Uh, this, of course, everybody knows, when you're born, you're born with a Volkswagen Beetle. There's a Mercedes 115 over there. This, of course, is an imported car, right? And over here, as you move on to more cars, this, of course, belongs uh, to Hari Dave. Hari Dave is uh, from... Uh, oh, sorry, my apologies. This is, belongs to Akash. This is Akash Classics. That is uh, Mazda. This is the Porsche belonging to Dr. Hari Dave. Uh, this is my personal car. The W108, uh, which is a Mercedes. Another Mercedes two-door over here. This is the BMW 520 injection and another BMW. So these are the cars we're going to ferry the ladies across Ipoh City. So what are you expecting out of this event today? You see, basically, when the organizer told me, oh, basically, I'm also the MC for the grand final this coming Friday. But they said, Katie, are you able to bring something classic to join in? For the younger generation i said why not and now as you can see we are rearranging ourselves for the drive the 16 families will be here very soon and therefore the idea objective is to foster the meet and greet session between the younger generation and people like us who are oh, above 60 retired for them to know more about the history of classic cars together as men mentioned by tan sri danny it is basically a pageant that involves tourism culture and friendship so culture and friendship comes here. We bring in this event today to bring Ipoh to an active and incredible, sensational city. And so one of the theme is to promote Perak tourism as well. Visit Perak La. Is that one of the... Hashtag Travel Perak La. Travel Perak La. Yes, hashtag yes. Travel Perak La. And this particular event, the Miss Malaysia Tourism Pageant, is fully supported by the Tourism Perak. So it's truly something incredible. We're looking forward to meet all the ladies. We're all ready and roaring to go as we see the cars all waiting to take them. And this will be, I believe, an experience of a lifetime for the 16 grand finalists. And is this the first time that this event is held in Ipoh, Perak? Yes, on a grand final national level. It's for the very first time held in the beautiful city of Ipoh. And let me tell you, November 25th, the Miss Tourism World Grand Final will be held in Kuching. Also, Kuching. part of Malaysia. Malaysia. Yes, yes. That'll be an exciting event. 
Exactly. Looking yes, forward to yes, that, yes. Harry. Thank so, you very much. So, yeah. So, I'm just going to speak to some of the drivers and uh, let them explain about their cars and the vehicles. Yeah. Thank Dr. you, Dr. Harinev. Yes. Oh. So, can you uh, tell me a little bit about your car? Which? And your car, your car. Oh, my car. own car. Yes, yes. Yes. And what made you uh, invest into classic cars? Okay. Uh, hi, I am Hari Dev. So I bought this Porsche back in January. Um, it was just uh, actually it's one of my eight cars. I started I started up with classic cars when back when I was. Uh, 18 years old, I started with Volkswagen. It was just a fun car that I could work on. And as days went by, I started to appreciate that the older they got, they aged like a fine wine. And with that, it was a bit, it was, it, I found it interesting that uh, people always adored the, oh, the lines of these older cars. Um, what brings me joy is that it's very easy to work on. And um, you can actually self-train to uh, understand the mechanics of the cars itself on top and while doing so you actually meet a lot of new people and you understand a lot more about the culture that it actually entails just like today you see on a, on a Tuesday afternoon we are all gathered here today yeah, yeah. anything else you'd like to yeah, ask so me? are you looking forward to take the participants on a drive shortly oh yes definitely yeah. um, that is the highlight of the day I think yes, most yes. of us are here yeah. to uh, not only bring people around Ipoh to show what Ipoh is about but also show uh, a little bit about how our cars can perform and yeah. uh, to bring a little bit of awareness along that line. Okay, great. Thank you, Haride. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I'll speak to the next uh, participant yes. as well. Akash, I think. Yeah. Akash. So, Akash. So, I've got Akash here of Akash Classics. Yes, hi. Uh, so, Akash, can you tell me a little bit about yourself and uh, what you do? Okay, I'm from Akash Classics Malaysia. We founded this company in 2013. For the past nine years, we've been selling all kind of classic cars and also modern classic cars. So what made you uh, invest into classic cars and because, to open up uh, your own showroom in Ipoh? It's a great investment for to buy a classic car because it gives you a better return than a bank investment. So that's why mm -hmm. I ventured into this business and it's been okay. good. Yeah, so if you want to visit Akash Classics, he's based in Canning Garden, Ipoh. Yes. He's moving to his, near, to his new showroom, which is just Down the right road. across Jalan Canning, roundabout. Yes. Okay, so if you ever come to Ipoh and you want to have a look at the showroom with all the classic cars, just drop by Most and uh, see Akash. You know, he'll be there to show you around Thank you so with his much. collection. Yeah, thanks Good for day. being here. Good right. day. Thank, Thank you for you. participating as well. And here I've got uh, Andy. Is it Andy? Chris. Andy, yes. So can you tell me a little bit about your car? It's a 1953 Sunbeam Alpine. Yeah. Uh, part of the Roots Group yeah. at the time when yep. it was made. Um, it's a two-liter. It, it was featured in a film called Catch a Thief with Caddy Grant. Is this the exact car? Chris Kelly. Well, it was exact model, same yeah. model. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was quite a famous car. <laughs> so, um, and uh, since when did you uh, start collecting classic cars? Oh, about six years ago. Six years ago. Yes. So what made you start? Well, I've always been interested in cars, but I was working and uh, I hadn't got the time. No, I've got the time, so... <laughs> okay, and you're based in Malaysia? Yeah, yeah I'm based in Malaysia. How yeah. long have you been in Malaysia? Uh, about 12 years. 12, 12 years. Do yeah. you like this country? I love it, yeah. I love oh. the weather. You love the weather. Love the weather. So yeah. what brought you to Malaysia? Uh, well, my wife, uh, my second wife is from she, Malaysia. She's Malaysian <laughs> she's as well? Chinese Malaysian. Okay, yeah. great, great. So I, um, we decided to, when I retired, to, to move here. Because cost of living is obviously much better. That's nice, that's nice. <laughs> Okay. So, yeah. so thank you, Andy. Okay. Yeah. Chris. Okay. Chris. <laughs> so can you please uh, introduce yourself? Hello. Hi. My name is Shireen. I'm 24 years old and I'm from Sabah. Sabah? Yes. I'm so Sabah. what made you join this uh, pageant? This pageant yes. because I want to promote our culture, at, culture, ethnic from Sabah to the world. To the world. So yes. uh, what makes Sabah so different and unique? Different. Actually, Sabah with Ipoh, it's kind of similar because of the environment, the nature. It's really awesome to see. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And what experience do you intend to bring from this event? Experience? Yeah. Uh, making friendship around us mm -hmm. yeah, and also enjoy every moment. Okay, and which part of Sabah are you from? Sabah, Kota Ginabalu, Kota but my Ginabalu. mom is from Tambunan, Tambunan Sabah. Tambunan Sabah. Yeah. Okay, thank you and hope you enjoy your Yeah, thank you so much, thank you so much. Thank you.
And uh, what about yourself? Where are you from? Can Hi. you introduce yourself to me? Hi, my name is Chloe and I'm from Selangor. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, what made you join this event? Uh, mainly it's to gain experience, I would say. Mm -hmm. Because it's definitely something that, you know, I don't get to experience on a daily basis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And, uh, and what do you like about Ipoh Perak? The food, the, the people. Food. Yeah, everyone has been very friendly, so that's a good thing. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> and so far, what is the most uh, significant experience that you had throughout this event? Significant experience? I would say that everyone has been trying very hard to fit us very well. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Like everywhere we go, people are like, "You guys like need any food? Like you guys like um, you know, are you hungry? Things yeah. like that." Yeah. <laughs> okay, great. Thank you. Hope yeah, you thank enjoyed you. The thank you. And what about yourself? Where are you from? Can you introduce yourself to me? Uh, hello, my name is Hannah Wilder. Uh, I'm 18 years old and I'm from Sarawak. Sarawak, which part of Sarawak? I'm from Kuching. 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 So what made you join this event? Uh, I actually joined this event to gain experience. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah, it's not something that you do every day. Mm -hmm. uh, very, very, <laughs> how to say, uh, very... <laughs> the excitement is there. Uh -huh. uh, and, yeah. Okay, and what do you like most about Ipoh Perak? The food and the very, very nice scenery. It's not something that you can find in Kuching. In Kuching. Yeah. But I think there's some similarities as well with Kuching, with not Perak really. with the green, you know. No, not really. No? There really isn't. That's why when I, when I saw the, the mountains and like the hills, mm -hmm. they were really mesmerizing. In Kuching, if you're like on the road, yeah. you only see the mountains like really, really far away. It's not a close-up view. So yeah, it's a, it's a really nice view here. Okay, great. Thank you. Hope you enjoy your experience here. Thank you. And yourself. Hi. Yes, tell me about yourself. Hi, I'm Ruby and I'm from Ipoh Para. Ipoh Para. So what made you join this event, Ruby? Um, I would like to uh, share the culture, um, the tourism places around to every contestant and also everyone about the beauty and the glories of Ipoh Para. Okay, and you being a native of Ipoh, yeah. uh, you are aware that Ipoh is also known as the city of millionaires. Yes, and I'm so proud of it that I'm one of the contestants and finalists representing Ipoh Para. And how do you think you can bring Ipoh to the world level? Uh, definitely doing our best in the final and get the champion for this competition so that we can proudly representing Malaysia and bring the message to the world that Ipoh Para is one of the wonderful places that they should visit. And we want to make Ipoh the city of millionaires once again. We are to make Ipoh proud. Yes, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hi there. Hi. Hi, tell me a little bit about yourself. Okay, um, so I'm Cindy here. I'm finalist number two and I'm from Ipoh, like where this beauty pageant is held. Mm -hmm. So I hope all of you have a good time in Ipoh itself. So what made you join this event? Okay, so like the biggest reason is because um, first uh, I represented in Miss Perak Tourism. Mm -hmm. So actually my initial aim is to promote Perak itself. Like I want to learn like how I could like use my, um, you know, use myself to promote my own hometown mm -hmm. as I've been staying in KL for some time mm -hmm. and indeed it's my pleasure to be able to you know um, be the Miss Para mm -hmm. and represent Para in this national level so mm -hmm. I could promote like you know the culture of Para as well as the historical places that we have to all the delegates from all around. So what makes Ipoh Para so different from the rest of the other states in Malaysia? All right, I would say definitely the food. Like mm -hmm. everyone agrees that the food here is like really good. It has like all those traditional, like you know, the tastes and stuff. So I would say the food, the food is definitely better. Well, the food is world class. Right? Yeah, yeah, you can't beat <laughs> I that. I think like all of us enjoy the food here yeah. as well. So you know that Ipoh is also the city of millionaires. So how do you think we can make Ipoh to become in its prime again? To become its prime again. So um, I'll definitely, uh, you know, as Ipoh has a lot of 
good food, as well as a lot of cultural places, as well as a lot of heritages. Mm -hmm. So definitely, you know, by promoting all these places mm -hmm. as well, we could definitely attract more tourists to come and this will definitely boost the economy. So I think that, you know, it's a really a pleasure to have this national level held in Ipoh itself. So, you know, like we posted a lot of social media and a lot of friends start asking, oh, we have this place in Ipoh itself. So I think this is uh, one of the ways that we could promote back the tourism back here. Interesting, interesting. Uh, another question, what do you think, uh, you know, we had COVID for the past two years, yeah, and it affected many industries in the world. So how is one of it is the education industry. So where do you see the future of education? How is it changing? All right, so as I know that during these two years, all of our, like from traditional classes, is all to online classes, and the dropout rates are really high. So I think what we could do as well as we could promote like more educational campaign, we could do more activities, workshop where we could attract back. So for example, like the kids, because they're not used to, you know, socializing, so they might be afraid to go to school. So, you know, we might have different campaign, like children day, sports day, before they enroll in, so we can get them to mingle around as well to let them get used to it. So I think that, you know, by organizing like different fun activities that we could do but um, you know as well as we could through promoting education as mm -hmm. well. And do you think IPO is the right place to be the next international education oh. hub? Definitely yes because of you know like I said food as well as we have a friendly communi community here and I think the growing environment here is like really good. It's not like too packed or too busy but we get a balance of everything so I think IPO can definitely be an international place for education as well. Well said, well said. Thank you and I hope you enjoy your experience and yeah. hopefully you can make Make people proud. Sure, thank, thank you. you. Thank okay. you. So. Okay, so tell me a little bit about yourself. Um, my name is Anita May. I'm 22 this year and I'm from Penang. Penang? Yeah, I'm representing yes. Penang. Okay, so are you the only contestant from Penang? Oh, no, there's three other girls. Three other girls. Just one of them. <laughs> so, what made you join this event and how do you think it's going to help you? Um, what made me join this event was probably the values that they promote. The three values are um, culture friendship and tourism and I think tourism is like a big part of our Malaysian like what's that word economy mm -hmm. yeah so and friendship come on like do I need yeah. to say more yes yeah, so. and what about culture what, what kind culture? of culture do we promote in Malaysia what don't we promote in Malaysia yeah. <laughs> there's like the Malay culture yeah. and like all those and how, how important do you think that this culture is oh I you think know, it's because very it's important. a very, very it's diverse country, you know, yes. with, with and, many races, yeah, and ethnic each, cities, and also how important is this, you know? Own, like, importance because, yeah. You know, there are many cultures out there that um, their traditions and their beliefs have been wiped out, mm -hmm. and I strongly, like, hope that from Malaysia that's not the case. Like, we need this. Mm -hmm. We need to protect our identity and, and our and, values. And, and what are the ways that we can do that? to promote uh, diversity in this culture so that they are not... Join the pageant. <laughs> Join the pageant. You know, like, hashtag social media. It's a yeah. social media world now, so mm -hmm. really just be out there and show people like the great things about... Mm -hmm. For this year, it's Para, so yeah. show them around Ko, show them around mm -hmm. Lose, all that yeah. stuff. And if there's one important thing uh, that needs to be fixed in this world, what do you think it is? Injustice. Injustice. Can you elaborate more on that? Under the table stuff. <laughs> and corruption and all, mm. briberies. Mm. Okay, so then it's to stop. Yes. Yeah, and how do you think we can achieve that? Well, the legal system has to be up there. Like, people actually have to follow. Even if you have, like, great excuses or, like, great reasons for it. Like, mm -hmm. um, say, for example, this person did something wrong, but they did that something wrong because no one was going to help them. Mm -hmm. Then, in that sense, it's like... You still did something wrong, but maybe your sentence can be lightened. Mm -hmm. yeah. And if there's one thing that you can bring back from this pageant, what would it be? My friends. Your friends. I really want them to come to Penang. Okay, great. It's just nine days with them. I don't think it's enough. It's too short, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. And like, yeah. I just got to know them. There's so many girls. Yeah. And I so want to show to them like um, Penang food. Penang food. <laughs> mm. Sorry. I think Ipo food is still the best. Don't you think so? Yeah, but each, Penang, but yeah. yeah, 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 of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. thank you very much, thank and uh, so hope much, you sure. enjoy this experience. Thank you. Thank you. So, welcome to Ipo, ladies. Hi. So, can you uh, introduce yourself? Hi, Phoebe, I'm Phoebe. Phoebe, where are yeah, you from? I'm from Sabah. Sabah, which part of Sabah? KK. 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 And yourself? Hi, I'm Elaine Cha, and I'm from KL. KL. Yeah. So, what made you join this pageant? What made me join? Uh, I joined because uh, from the Miss Sabah Tourism. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I joined the Miss Sabah Tourism first. So the reason I joined that one was because 
Um, I'm 25 this year and it's almost reaching the expiry age of joining a pageant. So I saw this opportunity and like, so I just want to try it out and also because I love traveling. So promoting tourism mm -hmm. is one of And them. what's the theme for this uh, pageant? Theme? You yeah. mean for, we have... For, for this theme in uh, So it's tourism, culture yeah, and pageant. So yeah. it's yeah. not, It's not only about beauty, yeah. but it's also about, you know, traveling yeah. and making mm -hmm. friendships. As yeah. A, so, yeah. so far, how have you experienced uh, from this pageant? What, what kind of experiences have you taken from this? It's like my first time, um, and like, I would say it, it kind of opened my eyes to like, a new side of people because I, my parents are from Singapore, we come here like a lot of time, mm -hmm. but like we never really experienced like, I remember like one day we'll go to like 10 places, right? 10 to 15 places. Yeah. So to be able to like, you know, look at new places like wow well, it's a you know eye opening experience I would say. So yeah, it's good to explore. Because when you think about Ipo, every time I think about it it's like there's nothing to do. No, I am so sorry. I'm really sorry but, but like when I come here it's always eating food. Yeah with my family so we don't really go to places. You know, it's like cupcakes. We are gonna go make cupcakes later and I didn't know there was a place to make cupcakes, you know, yeah. a, a lesson for us too. So yeah. So yeah, so let's think about it. Mm -hmm. But do you know that Ipo was once the city of millionaires? Ah, oh, yeah. Sure, actually. Yes, yes. Yeah. So, so you should you not say that there's nothing in Ipoh, so you know. Sorry. You know I so, always come here. Yeah. So eat and eat millionaires were well, Ipoh was in fact the capital of tin mining in the world, you know, and many millionaires were made from this city. Ah. You know? So you know, there's lots of things that you can yes, see, the food like, and all that. You know, I, and I feel like it's just hidden. You know, in KL, everything yeah. is so central. Because, yeah, so that's why I, we need yeah. to like promote. Yeah, exactly. that's yeah. So yeah, that's yeah. why. Yeah. So, so there's a lot of things that uh, Malaysia is well known for and not yes. known as well. Yeah. So I think probably this event is one of the yeah. events where you can really explore and you know yeah. share yeah. share, share this well. to the world. You yeah. know, yeah. yeah and yeah. and uh, what is the one thing that you like to take away from this so event? One thing will be. Friendship. friendship. Yeah, because it's very nice to meet everyone yeah. and from different states. Like, we basically like first time meeting each other, but we are like very close to each yeah. other now. Yeah. Like, we each other. And then we've been we're gonna stay like together for like how many days? Yeah. Like almost like, one eight days. Oh, yeah, eight days. And, eight nights. Sorry. Yeah, creating eight memories nights. together. Yeah. It's one thing that yeah. Okay. And okay, this is one question for you. Yes. Where do you see the future of education? Education, yes. future of education is, is like keep continuing. Like there's, you won't stop educate. Like yes. even like during the pandemic, mm -hmm. education has been like still going on. Like yeah. it, it won't affect by anything. So in terms of education, it's uh, to me it's like limitless and. Mm -hmm. yeah. And how is it changing? Is it changing? Mm -hmm. it's, it's more like now it's the education. You can even do it like through Zoom and through online, which is you don't even need to like uh, face to face with teachers. Like you can even learn anything online now, which is very convenient. Yeah. Yeah. And if there is one problem in the world that needs to be solved, what is that one problem? Racism. <laughs> Why? Why do you say so? I would say when I went, because I, I was in UK for a bit, um, I was in Axetel and it was very posh area and I felt, because I was only Malaysian in my entire, I was studying medical sciences in uh, Axetel and it was super posh, everyone's just from London school, like high class school, so I was, I experienced a little bit of racism there, they come up to me, they think I'm like Korean and Japanese and do those, they would do this to me in a club and I'm like, Gosh. Um, another person actually, like in the club, got beat up because she got like she she just you know she's wearing this chongsam and she got beat up. It's just like they're not educated enough to know that it's like Asia, like you know, in, yeah, it's Malaysia as well. So yeah, she kind of got mistaken as a Korean. That's why they don't really like Korean. She got beat up in the club. So I feel like there should be more awareness about different cultures and like different races because yeah. like where I was studying wasn't really acceptable at all. Yeah. And, and how do you think that we as Malaysians can share the values and culture that we have in the world so that racism, discrimination can be eliminated? I feel like the Minister of Tourism as well needs to promote Malaysia a lot. Maybe 
go to other countries and talk to the other Minister of Tourism about how are we are such a multicultural country and you know looking at us as well we're so different in every way yeah. and maybe some maybe some billboards about Malaysia and stuff like that and like you know see races and stuff like that to other countries and stuff like that so yeah that's how I think yeah. at the moment so yeah. 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 yeah but it's more like awareness campaign I would say mm -hmm. that will be more like that it's mm -hmm. a bit hard to show our culture yeah. to other because countries. a lot of people still don't know about Malaysia yeah, yeah. And, uh, so. Talking about Malaysia in general yes. now, coming back to you because you're from Sabah. Uh -huh. And Sabah is very, very diverse yeah, in diverse terms of ethnic minorities culture. and all. So what's your perspective and take on that? It's very good. I mean because everyone's like very we are close to each other, like we don't we learn each other's culture, we, we even celebrate each other's festivals like uh, the Kadazan during the Kamata, we go like to the festival, you don't only see like Kadazan there, it's Chinese. Indians, every, everyone's there celebrating each other, even Chinese New Year as well, like and Hari uh, Raya, we all celebrate together, yeah, it's very nice. Okay, thank you so much for your time, yeah, thank and you. I do hope that you all have a good uh, experience, and hopefully you get something out of this. Yes, yeah? thank, thank you. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Thank you for question. Okay, ladies, Hello. can you introduce yourselves to the audience? Yeah, hi, I'm Guru Simran Kaur, I'm from Kuala Lumpur. I am Maitita Sri from Kedah. From Kedah. So why did you join this uh, pageant? So I basically, before this I didn't join any pageants or any modeling agencies. So like one day I was like scrolling through like social media and I saw this ad. I was like, let's just try lah. Because I've been like, uh, I have been trying for modeling but I didn't get in. So I was like, uh, maybe I won't get in. So just try your luck. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's an experience. Uh, basically when it comes to me, I'm the person who wanted to try something new. So it's just me starting from scratch with zero background. I wanted to join this just to explore like how does this pageant work and whether it suits me uh, for career purposes. And uh, how do you think it's going to help you? Um, for me, I feel that it will help me like let's say I get into this pageant and I win. So let's say I can be an influencer, so I can influence people in doing good stuff or some uh, influence in like other stuff as well. Mm -hmm. So yeah. how do you intend to influence people? What do you have any inspiration, uh, influence? I mean, inspirational I influences like, or? Uh, I don't really have any in, like inspiration influences, but if I became an influencer, I would actually like talk more about like uh, body shaming and all this about bodies. Yeah. Yeah. And why, why do you think that's important? Mm, for me, I think that's important because from personally, I have I tried for many agencies, like they say you have to love your body, but like to join like the agencies of pageant or modeling, they you have to like be a certain body shape, certain body count, like yeah, you have to be like thin to join, so sometimes it's like very heartbreaking, yeah. Yourself? Uh, for me, I think that... Uh, Actually, it kind of some, uh, it's something like giving opportunities for people. Like for example, like me having zero background, trying into something new. This is what like everyone deserves. Everyone deserves something new and uh, something like everyone deserves a new opportunity, chances for them to try a field that they have uh, no knowledge with. Mm -hmm. uh, this definitely gonna help them uh, to figure out who they are actually. And uh, so far, what have you liked about Ipoh, being the host city for this pageant? Food. Food. What about the food? What's so different about the food uh, here compared to your state? I can say that it it has like um, a, there there are varieties compared to Kuda. They actually uh, how to say uh, every state they have a uh, unique food, right? So when it comes to Kuda, the taste the taste there is different. But when it comes to Ipoh, the taste here is different. So it's not really the same. Mm -hmm. So it, it's a, something about the flavors mm -hmm. and variety. Yeah, for me it's like the places because like here there are more historic places and like it's interesting to like go like, example Kari Castle then you like read what's about this place and all that. Yeah. For me it's about places. Okay, brilliant. Thank you for Thank participating. You so Hope you experience no something great. <laughs> Thank okay. you so much. Thank you, sir.